Hi, uh, in this quick video, I want to show you how to set up the uh, Node Oracle DB um, in a Node add-on um, from Oracle. Um, so this allows you to you know connect uh, to an Oracle database within the Node.js environment. So, so basically, you can use JavaScript to query the data uh, from Oracle and uh, manipulate the data. So there are a lot of features that Oracle right now supports. Uh, everything is documented within the GitHub page. And uh, um, so if you are interested to explore more of these features, feel free to check out the readme page. Um, and uh, but today I just want to show you how to you know set it up and how to connect to it. Um, so in order to install the Oracle DB you know uh, NPM add-on, uh, you need first thing you need Windows build tool so which contains the Python 2.7 as well as uh, C Visual Studio C++ C++ 11 compiler and we also need a client um, if you don't if you don't want to install a full blown client you can use instant client um, it contains a, a small um, you know footprint uh, compared to a full blown client so let's go ahead and start so the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up the Windows build tools so, um, but before that, make sure, you know, obviously you have Node.js installed. If not, go to the Node.js.org and download the Windows version um, based on the, um, you know, if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit, download the MSI and install it. And once you have it installed, um, based on how you are developing, make sure you have a directory set up like this. And uh, let's go ahead and run the npm command. Then this npm command downloads the Python 2.7 and Visual Studio C++ 11 compiler um, and some other SDKs associated with it uh, with the Windows build tools. So let's go ahead and run it. So this process might take some time. Um, so if you want to check the status of the entire process, so we can look at the user profile, you know, the Windows build tools directory. So let's go ahead. So it's just right now downloading the you know uh, the tools it need. Um, I'm going to pause the video here and uh, we'll continue once the installation is complete. So um, so the installation is finished. So you can see the log here, uh, the Python 2.7 successfully installed and uh, successfully installed Visual Studio build tools. Um, this took about good 40 minutes. Again, um, you can see the uh, the log here. So it downloads bunch of SDKs. Um, you know, so it probably about three to four gigs of files. You're looking at downloading and installing all of them. So depending upon internet speed, this might take even longer. Uh, so be just be be patient when you're doing it. Um, normally stopping, you know, would create unnecessary issues uh, to be able to uninstall the whole process. So uh, now we know the, the build tools are installed. Let's go ahead and install the um, instant client. So that will need that uh, the instant client will help us um, provide the necessary libraries we need to be able to compile the code. So let's go ahead and set up that. Normally, this shouldn't talk, this shouldn't take longer, so it should finish pretty quickly. So, uh, when you're installing the install uh, instant client, um, the uh, Oracle will ask you the username and password for the um, Oracle support website. So, uh, make sure you log in, or if you don't have, please go ahead and create an account. So, um, so the Oracle client is installed. Um, so let's go ahead and set up the environment variables uh, before we actually install the, the Node Oracle DB um, NPM package. So let's go ahead and set the um, environment variables. So basically what we're doing is we're adding the um, insta instant client that we just downloaded into our path variable and then making sure the OCI libraries uh, and include files are set up um, as an environment variable. So now we have completed that. L let's go ahead and install the Oracle DB, um, the uh, NPM package. So so what this does is it goes out and get downloads all the source files and compiles um, using the 
uh, the build tools that we have downloaded okay so that's great so we install the oracle db um, uh, npm package uh, module um, so let's uh, quickly um, create a table um, to be able to verify that we are um, you know actually connecting to the oracle database and querying it in the node.js so um, let's create a and um, just uh, insert a simple value so uh, so that's that we had set up that up uh, we had we had just inserted a simple um, row and let's uh, go ahead and actually um, open the the an example that I downloaded from the the Oracle DB um, github page from the Oracle um, so here uh, first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we set up the DB config dot JS so the db config dot js contains basically the username password connection string and the authentication method um, so here you can actually define them as an environment variable um, but you can actually also you know hard code the username and password but just for the demo purpose i just hard coded them um, so this should be fine and uh, let's go ahead and um, open the the select dot js which is uh, what we will be running in the node um, which will actually just query our the, the test table that we created now I'm just modifying the example within the uh, github repository that Oracle has provided um, so first thing we are doing is we are uh, we are loading the Oracle DB um, you know module and then we are loading the DB config uh, JavaScript file and then uh, we are um, we are setting the parameters and we are opening the connection and um, and then we are executing this um, you know query so here let's go ahead and just change this to node underscore test just want to make sure that's the table we created um, so it's test underscore node so it's test underscore node um, let's go ahead and save that and here so here what it does is it, it returns the rows uh, return um fr from this query here um, now you can actually return the um, um, the JavaScript object or you can actually return the um, uh, the uh, tabular format um, so we are going to return the tabular format as rows here so let's go ahead and run this uh, so uh, we can see here um, the using the JavaScript we within the Node.js we are able to um, connect to the Oracle database and actually retrieve the retrieve the data we actually just inserted. So hopefully that'll help you to understand what it what are the steps involved to actually set up the Oracle database in npm.